So today I will tell you about uh, electric vehicle charging options in Latvia. Uh, because uh, Latvia is Estonia's uh, neighbor country and uh, it's just 80 kilometers to south from where I live, I go there quite often. Latvia's modernized e-mobile charging network was opened just last year with 70 chargers and by now they added a few more. Uh, there is plan to add 80 more chargers by year 2021. The price of charging is 15 euro cents per minute and you pay monthly for what you used the previous month. To get the e-mobi card you need to register on their website which is also possible in English although you need to provide a valid digital signature and uh, to Estonia they even sent the e-mobi card for free. If you don't have time to order the e-mobi card, you can also use the Latvian chargers through some worldwide charging network like Nextcharge, Virta, their Estonian partner Elektritransport, Plug Surfing or New Motion. But as you can see here, they are charging quite a bit extra. Each charger has three connectors, 50 kW CCS and Chademo and 43 kW Type 2 AC. About other major networks, it's worth mentioning that Tesla does not yet have any superchargers in Latvia, although one should be added near Salaspils and other near Rezekne in the future. And IKEA in Riga has a spot for EV charging, but nobody knows when the charger will be there. Position-wise, uh, all the chargers are positioned near major highways with uh, even spacings. And uh, what's important for me, they are well covering the three roads that are coming from Estonia to Latvia. And now for some personal experience. I'm charging now in Latvia with the AMOB charger. Uh, as you can see, uh, the charging speed is 21 kilowatts right now, but uh, this is uh, because the battery percentage is already 75%. And for the new Nissan Leaf, I think the uh, charging speed uh, drops already uh, if it's uh, past uh, 65%. But uh, generally these e-mobi chargers have been uh, quite uh, fast. Uh, uh, maximum speed that I have seen is uh, 45 kilowatts, which is quite good. Uh, the bad thing about the uh, Latvian e-mobi network is that most of their chargers seem to be in some uh, remote isolated places where there is nothing except the charger so uh, you ha just have to um, uh, stand and wait there there is no uh, shopping option or or no uh, place to eat uh, but of course I just uh, visited like uh, four different e-mobi chargers in Latvia so far Greetings from Ogre, Latvia uh, here is an interesting uh, EV charging station because it's free. Uh, it appears it was made here before the Latvian National e-Mobi network and uh, so it's not uh, on the map of this uh, e-Mobi network but uh, you don't also need the uh, e-Mobi card to authenticate and it's completely free. You just plug in, press the button and you get free juice. To sum it up, I've used six different rapid chargers in Latvia so far and no problems with charging speed or service quality. As you see, uh, no uh, need to be afraid of traveling to Latvia with an electric car. Uh, plenty of options to charge your car uh, with or without the e-mobi card. Um, so I hope this information was useful to you. Thank you and see you again in next videos.